All right, hey, we're here at the York River, or Yorktown Beach. This is all the Yorktown Beach right here. And uh, right there you got, where is it? Right there is the pub. And then over here is uh, Larry's. I tell you, man, if you haven't been to the pub or Larry's here on the beach, y'all missing out. Y'all gotta check it out. Uh, this beach is awesome, it's a good spot. And uh, I'm just fishing, kayak fishing out here today. Sporting my TKA hat, yup, yup. Uh, here in my Hobie Revolution. My Soul Quest uh, Life Preserver, nice radio. Yep, but out here, naughty fish, yakking now, baby. It's part of my Okinawa group. Yep, got my uh, ocean tackle box, got my trough out. Gonna try to give me some uh, striper today. So, hey, if y'all are not, uh, if y'all new to my page, I'm naughty fish. I'm out here trying to uh, link up with people to kayak fish. So, uh, check out the different pages. Message me and I'll let you know what pages are out there for Facebook for kayak fishing. Uh, you got the seven cities, you got TKA, you got VKT, um, you name it, there's a lot. So hey, hit me up and I'll get you linked up. Let's do this kayak fishing. Purple hook on this one. Uh, you know, trying to hurt the fish and because I normally do a catch and release, so I don't do, I try to stay away from trouble, trouble hooks or trouble hooks. You know, you don't want to damage the fish up here. So. Now these aren't Gamagatsu hooks. So if I catch something big, I got to find a way to take it out because I don't want to hurt the fish. But ideally for those that are new to fishing, you know, if uh, you're bait fishing and chance you leaking up to a uh, a big fish, definitely have a, oh, I got him, I got him, I got him. What are you, baby? What are you? Everybody, just pray for a striper. Let's pray for, ah, oh, it's a croaker. That is a croaker. Croakity croak, 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 guys. Not a striper. Not a croak. Yeah, definitely not a croaker. As you can see, shrimp. So I'm using some shrimp out here by the Coleman Bridge, right in front of Larry's in the pub. Again, go check out Larry's if you have it. It's so amazing. Even the fish are out here smelling Larry's food. Mm. All right, guys. Croaker. You got anything to say to the camera? Yeah. Y'all should come out kite fish or naughty fish. Okay, he said y'all should come out with me. You heard that, right? Hi, everybody. See, he said that. I didn't say that. He did. All right, start the video again. I'm gonna try to put you out of my, my booby pocket on my vest. Only cause uh, I think for me it's the best spot. I mean, I probably should pay, pay 60 bucks for some kind of Ram ball, which I got in my Jeep and I'm too lazy to take out. Hey, should I keep fishing with this one? Yeah, I should. Let's do it. All right. And all I'm doing right now is aiming for those rocks in the pylon area as close as I can without getting stuck. I'm not doing a uh, popping cork. Obviously all those that are familiar with fishing out here popping cork's pretty good oh god no i didn't so i get him he's on it like there's no drag he might be coming my way no he's off that was so weird all right try it again try it again again um croakers are not what i'm aiming for right now and for those who like to eat croaker, I just threw away two good ones for y'all. Sorry. I'm going for striper. I need at least one big one tonight, guys. I probably should actually throw on some striper bait, but I'm just really cheap. And using shrimp is a lot cheaper to manage than losing gulp after gulp. For those that buy gulp, you know how expensive that gets. Got him. I got him. <laughs> oh, I don't got him. I had him. Uh, past tense. Had. And he. Good job. Good job. I wonder if these fish know that they're playing a game going, I want to play a game. Who can take the shrimp without getting hooked first? Your life depends on it, you know? That little doll and the little tricycle comes out, plays in the, in the water. A little fish doll. No? Okay. I'm talking to myself. I'm out here by myself anyway, so if, technically it's kind of going, I'm going crazy if I'm talking to myself, but. All right. Hey guys, anybody out here in the Yorktown area, in the uh, Gloucester area, uh, even if you're on Virginia Beach and want to drive up here, I've driven down there a lot. Uh, now I'm trying to explore my hood a little bit, only because uh, 
I haven't linked up with a lot of people out here. Andrew seems to be hitting me up. Ron hooked me up a couple times. So uh, I'll tell you, if anybody's out here wants to link up and do some fishing, just tell me when. As you can tell right now, it's late. So most of us are sitting on the couch playing Fortnite or watching news or, or dancing with the stars or something like that. So if you want to link up and do some fishing, hit me up. All right. Oh, got him. Got him, baby. Oh, I don't got him. Had him. Had him again. Past chance. All right. Oh. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. I got him still? Yeah, I got him. Got something. What do I got, guys? Another croaking. Jesus. Croaking party up in here. I know how the ending of this story is going to go. You croaked. Get it? Ha, ah, I just made a joke. All right, guys. I'm not very funny. Didn't, I'm not a comedian. Or, and fishing is not my day job, so I'm, I'm lost for two right there. All right. I don't even know if y'all can see the fish. And for those that don't know, Kroger's got these little, let me see, can you even see what I'm looking at? Yeah, you kind of do. So this right here, oh, you little shit. Sorry, I didn't say the S word. I said ship. Yeah, that's what I said, ship. Look at him. So Kroger's got little, what do you call them? Little spikes on their gills. Here, let me see if I can show you. You don't normally see them on the video, but yeah, right there. They got little spikes. So when they flap around, they grab them. They like to poke you and make you feel really, really happy. Yeah. Send you back to the uh, fish party that you've been at. All the guys are there, huh? Hey, do me a favor. Ask the stripers to come out. We need to talk to them, okay? Okay. All right, so you said okay. Cool. Go get them. Go get them. All right. I think he lied to me, though. I don't think he's going to call the stripers, but we'll see. It's like a jock party. I'm only at the nerd party. No offense to all the nerds. All right, you're going back in my booby pocket. Wait, first, I got to look at my uh, Stars and Stripes shorts. America. Okay, now you can go back in my breast pocket. Breast pocket. All right. Hey, uh, what the freak? Oh, I'm going to hook myself, y'all. Okay. I'm about to do some first aid real world stuff up in here. And I didn't bring my first aid kit to my wife's truck. Smart move, right? Yeah, I know. All right. Again, I talked about it a little bit. I'm going to show a picture later. But I just got a snap ring with two Gamagata hooks. And I'm out here trying to catch boats. Here, look, watch. Boats and Oreos. There you go. Uh, I think the depth I'm fishing at right now was like mm, six to ten feet. Not that deep, guys. I probably should go just a little deeper. But I don't want to go near the boat area at night. Only because there is a lot of traffic out here, especially on the weekend. On a good weekend, like today. Uh got him i got something i got uh you know what if i'm a betting man i'm gonna say croaker guys thank god i'm not a betting man another croaker i'll tell you croaker season for those that uh hear people make jokes about it now you know all you can catch out here is croaker after croaker after croaker but then come the winter time frame you don't catch anything not even these guys but yeah right now croaker one after another should I measure you? Do you see what the y'all sizes are? I think you're what? 13, 12? Can't, why can't you be a bass? All right. I need a bass, fool. Where are your bass is at? Oh, he's talking a lot. Quit talking shit. I ain't saying nothing to you. I'm only letting you go, fool. I just want to say hi. Hey, uh, is this Naughty Fish? Yeah, this is Naughty Fish. What's up? What you got? Um, um, I'm trying to go get this striper for you. Oh, okay, cool. Go, you go get that for me? Yeah. No liar, he's a liar. So I'm letting him go anyways. Alright. Okay, going back in my booby pocket, guys. If you want to know, this is my booby pocket right here. Y'all going in there. Oh, yeah. Hub and Larry's. If you haven't been to Larry's here at the uh, York River, go check them out. And the pub. Mm -hmm. Oishi, which is Japanese for delicious. Yep. I'm not a fish. I'm out here fishing York River at night. Uh, Coleman Bridge is right there. And uh, we are in Virginia, baby. We are in Virginia. The water temperature right now is awesome. And the weather today is feeling awesome. Clear skies. Ain't gonna rain on me like it did yesterday. I'm gonna fish some of these jetties out here. That we're not allowed to fish from the shore. But if you got a kayak, you can. Hint, hint, come get a kayak. Yep. And uh, if you haven't seen Oak Tree Outfitters in Gloucester, they got awesome kayaks, vibes. Oh, so many cool stuff. If you haven't seen the... Uh, Paddle VA's, Appomattox River Company stores in Hampton and 
uh, Farmville. Go check them out. Awesome, awesome kayaks all over. And if you haven't checked out, uh, what is it, Wild River Outfitters, uh, go check them out in Virginia Beach area. They have awesome Hobie stuff. And I'm a Hobie guy, so FYI, Hobie Revos are my favorite. All right, so if you want to uh, see so all the ladies out there that want to uh, impress me and men, if you want to impress me, buy me a Revo. I can, I can never have enough Revos. All right, love y'all. Hey, y'all, I'm going to do some fishing out here for some striper. We'll see what we catch. Lately, I've been catching nothing but croaker tonight, so we'll see. All right, doses. All right, we're fishing the rocks, the docks off of the uh, river landing here in Yorktown, Virginia. Ugh, you're in my booby pocket right now, guys. And uh, I got a shrimp on my sustain reel. Uh, got a gamagatsu hooks on. They're facing kind of like I do with my uh, fast pit jigs. They're facing inwards. What the heck is that? Got some weird thing creeping up in that area. I don't know what it is though. It's black, so I know. Okay. Oh, oh, got him. Got him. Oh. Oh, come back. Get back on. Get back on, baby. Get back on. All right. Croaker after croaker. I'm so scared. Why do people come out at night? It's so dark. They don't know what's under you. All right, let's do the uh, anchor thing. Show what this anchor looks like. I'm gonna focus on seven cities. Oh, shoot, Jesus, who we got this way here? So, yep, I do the same thing. Tie it off on the bottom of the anchor right there. I got a really strong thousand pound cord. It's really thin though. And there's a, a thin layer of coating of, of tube that I put over so it doesn't jack up on the coral. Uh, and then the zip ties, small zip ties. And I have one tied down and the other three are open. It is a 50 pound, so it's all around light and heavy. And it's hooked up to a, a kite spool here with the pelican hook at the tip. And I hook this guy up to my ring. There's a ring. I hook it up to the ring right there. And uh, I put the cord through there and it's like my locking mechanism right there. 